to yeah. where it's like instead of don't cry for me Argentina, it's please cry for me Argentina. Well, and, um, you know, we've talked about that too, Joe, and, and I stand yeah. by the statement: victims get paid. Yes. Yeah. This is uh, currency and sadness and misery. <laughs> Yeah, he has an entire chapter based on colors. Oh, jeez. I, I, that was I wasn't making it up. One sixty-eight. If you guys own this book or have a PDF document somewhere, on page one sixty-eight, he goes into a thirteen-page chapter on the importance of colors. Oh my fuck! Blue, indigo, purple, turquoise, pink. Ooh, pink is a good color. Oh my god! Magenta. <laughs> Brown. Wait, wait a second. Is he um, Kermit D. Frog? <laughs> Let me tell you about green. Let me tell you about the color white. White isn't a color, right back. Neither is black. <laughs> white is the absence of color, just like you are the absence of talent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it's more than 13 pages. It starts at 168 and ends at 186. My bad. Oh, no. Yes. Ryback, the importance of colors from a guy that eats three grilled chickens a day. I can't wait. That I'm telling you, you know what, here, let me, let me go down the chapter listing. You'll find this fun. Oh, God. So let's go down the, the chapter listing. Uh, introduction, of course, section one, health. Okay. Absolutely interested in what he has to say about health. He seems like he's a healthy guy to, to a point. Uh, chapter one, taking care of our bodies. Chapter 2, Nutrition. Uh, chapter 3, Asperitine and Sucrose, or Sucralose. Chapter 4, Caffeine, Caffeine, Caffeine. Chapter 5, Red Red Wine. Chapter 6, Eating for Our Blood Type. Oh. Chapter 7, Supplements. Chapter 8, Fast Food. Oh, hell no. Now, mind you that... Chapters one through four equal the one chapter about colors. So. <laughs> <laughs> There's more pages about colors, colors than yes. there are about health. Meal prepping, cheat days slash meals, working out. Now, working out with Ryback, I would have expected at least a 20, maybe even a 30-page chapter about working why? out, right? For right yeah, why, why not? Of course. It's right oh, back. my God, dude. He's got a hell of a physique. You, you figure he knows every single muscle. He knows how to accentuate. He knows probably how to fix it so you can, like, really strengthen certain body parts and stuff. And I'm not necessarily saying go into, like, a DDP yoga level depth, but you'd expect at least 20 or 30 pages, right? Uh, it starts at page 46 and ends at page 52. Wow. And they use a... a Medium large font. Let's just be honest here. This is not a, like a Stephen King level font here, folks. This is <laughs> this is a medium to medium large font. Oh my god! Yeah. So he basically gives you about two pages four, about working out. Four, four and a half pages if you're lucky. Right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> resting the body, then wake up. Sleep apnea, breathing, sexual energy, and control. <laughs> uh, our brains and porn. Overcoming addiction. Performance enhancing drugs. Oh, page 71. And that goes on. Okay, it's 77. So he gives a six-page analysis on performance enhancing drugs. Then we go to section two. So, so. Wait, I just think it's great that uh, JEC official in the chat room wrote six pages about the only thing he knows about. <laughs> awesome. The only thing he knows about in the whole world. He's like, yeah, I can write six pages about that. Oh. So section two. <laughs> Ryback section two is about the – about inspiration and attitude joe oh so uh okay. chapter one of this section two chapter one being thankful inspirational quotes <laughs> like like he, what he googled it airplanes <laughs> and attitude Daily. Can, I, can i write a book and just fill it with inspirational quotes <laughs> and put my name on it and make money <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh my God. Other people's quotes, too. I'm sure they're not even his own. Of course, yeah. Daily affirmations. Ah. Fear of failure and criticism. Mm. Competing with ourselves. Life values. So society today. Destructive criticism. Another, another chapter on criticism, huh? Uh, we always have a choice. Ego is our friend and enemy. Forgiveness. Being average isn't necessarily a bad thing. The power of being hungry. <laughs> growth mindset and fixed mindset. Yeah, the human growth mindset, yeah. Unlimited courage. Oh. You dictate who you are, not your job. Oh. I bet you that's the angry WWE chapter. Oh. Yeah, that's one page, too. How do you call it a chapter if it's one page? <laughs> I can over I can't. Death. Excuses. Treat others with love. Uh, section three. I think this uh, Wait, there's more? Yeah, there's a couple more. I'll go through these faster, though, because, you know. Section three, self-improvement. Social media. Right and wrong. <laughs> oh, my God. How long is this book? I man? want to read the chapter about Ryback telling me the difference between right and wrong. Right is good. Wrong is bad. Those are the difference between right and wrong. <laughs> what? Here's, you know what drives me crazy about this? Okay. And I hate to be this guy because to me, like, I, I, I try to avoid saying this, but when you write, like, a self-help book like this, it's like, what on earth are your qualifications? <laughs> what on fucking Well, he's a earth professional are... athlete, and this is his advice on how to succeed in the game of life. Okay, well, let's not bring get... up the fact that he's been chick-canned, but, you know. <laughs> <laughs> let's, not, let's not forget the fact that the, the, uh, he's a bodybuilder. Oh that's what it is like there's a different uh, okay this is gonna get this is gonna piss somebody off um there is a difference between a bodybuilder and, and a professional athlete there's a big difference oh yeah there's a, there's a huge Does fucking argue difference. that like it, oh you're damn right oh come like, on dude does anybody remember the wbf and how miserably that shit failed yeah. Vince McMahon wanted to take those guys from the WBF and put them in the fucking ring. And they could barely walk because they were so injected full of shit. You know what I mean? Right. Like, J like Jay Cutler will tell you that he's not as good of an athlete as, uh, hmm, I don't know, Malcolm Butler. He'd be like, okay, that guy's a better athlete than me. And he'd be like, what, well, what do you mean? It's like, dude, I'm jacked. But he's an athlete. There's a difference, you know? Yeah. There's a there's a huge difference. Like, okay, even though um, you know, it 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 irks me a little bit to give the guy the amount of credit that I am giving him. Who do you think is a better athlete, the Big Show or Ricochet? Yeah, Big Show. Yeah, got to be and Big it, show. It, it has to be because oh, well, look at the amount that he has to do just to keep up his body, just to keep it up. It's probably a lot easier to let Big Show go than it is for Ricochet to not eat. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> that's that's good. That's an interesting thought on that. Like, who would be a better at? Who would technically be a better athlete? <laughs> but uh, yeah, right and wrong, setting goals, time management, focus, visualization, hand work always works. What? Hand work always works. Hand work always work. Focusing on one thing. Is that a, is that a, a chapter about drinking your dick? What's that? <laughs> <laughs> Hand work on, always work. <laughs> always. Work. Yeah, that's what it says. It says hand work always works. Hand, hand work always works. That's true. <laughs> uh, focusing on one thing. Uh, you know, he has a chapter about focus. And then he has another chapter in the same fucking section about focusing on one. Oh, my God, dude. All right. My rules for success. Educating ourselves to educate our kids. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? A man with no kids. Yeah. Educating ourselves to educate our children. Our well, surroundings. Ryback, Ryback has also spent many years um, working in child care. 
Ah, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Our surroundings, selling, success takes time even for the world's best, pain and pleasure, whatever your job, give it all. (laughs) Whatever your job, give it your all. The importance of colors, ask questions, we learn by experiencing, music motivates our soul, television timeouts. Just a few more. Section four is about relationships. Jesus fucking Christ, how long is this book? <laughs> 235 pages. That's it? That's it. I told you, it's just a shit ton of like one page chapters. Oh my God. Uh, breaking up, love your animals, and family. Oh. Section five is about money. Uh, money. <laughs> like every other, every other section has a different title than the chapters. The section five starts off as money. Chapter one, money, pinching pennies, emergency fund, and good debt, bad debt. Section six is uh, personal responsibility. Mm. Mm, That must have been a hard chapter to write, huh? (laughs) Texting while driving. (laughs) That is a two-page chapter. Oh, my God. (laughs) Wiping versus just pooping and then cleaning your ass in the shower. Like, what does he have to say about it for two pages? I mean, I know it's medium font, but Jesus Christ. Texting, Texting while driving. driving. Don't do it. Don't do it. It's dangerous. The end. <laughs> <laughs> Drinking and driving. Okay. Oh my God. Cutting down on plastics. Cutting down on plastics? On plastics, yes. Oh, boy. Water conservation. (laughs) Water conservation. (laughs) Ryback's intimate knowledge about water conservation. Oh, my God. Uh, Conservation. (laughs) Ryback's water conservation. And uh, <laughs> if it's if it's yellow, then it's mellow. If it's brown, fuck it down. <laughs> oh, oh my God, Ryback! Thank you so much. For the uh, information. And the last chapter in personal responsibility is going solar. Going what? Solar. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Right, does Ryback live in a solar power house? I, I hope he does. does. Yeah, I hope he lives in a little oh, Jetsons yeah. house, way up it's above so the clouds. It's so hard for me to cook all this chicken with my solar panels. <laughs> Fuck, dude. Ryback, dude. Ryback is like the equivalent of the guy that's trying fucking so desperately to be deep. Like it's oh, just. Yeah. It, oh my god. Jesus Christ. I'm more than just big muscles. I want to uh, read. Well, you probably should have thought of that earlier, buddy, before you put on a hundred. Uh, before you put on a hundred pounds in meathead costume into your body. You Can I should've... please read water conservation? I mean, I know we're fucking completely going off topic here, but <laughs> <laughs> raindrop, drop top. <laughs> Ryback's right gonna teach you about the pop pop. Until we can find a way. To tap into our vast oceans for water. Get it? Tap. <laughs> <laughs> for water in a cost-effective way, we absolutely must be conscious. And I, and I hope he thinks like this, too. We absolutely must be conscious of the way in which we use water. Mm. There are more humans on our planet than ever before, and that number just keeps increasing. With more people comes more demand for water. Oh, boy. They say the average human... They say, like he doesn't fucking... They say the average human consumes between 80 to 100 gallons per day. I am not average, so this number does not compute. (laughs) No. And considering there are billions of people in our world... That number is astonishing. 
the human body itself is 50 to 67 percent water, so there is no doubt we need water to survive. It only makes sense that we examine how we have used water in the past and how we are using it now. There are many things we can do to save water, and they aren't difficult. For example... Get the fuck out of here. This sounds like a fifth grade science project. <laughs> For example, bath faucets of yesteryear would use around two gallons per minute, and bath faucets of today use around one gallon per minute. Something as simple as switching out your bath faucet could make a big difference over time. Same thing with your shower heads, which, after toilets and baths, use the most water in most homes. Old shower heads typically use five gallons of water per minute, but new water saving shower heads use only two gallons per minute. This is the dumbest fucking thing <laughs> I've ever heard you have to read. And we've read some really stupid <laughs> shit. <laughs> I remember. Is, why, is, why is he just explaining this? Like, what? What the fuck, dude? Like, who's, who's buying a book by a wrestler and wants to know about water conservation? <laughs> Oh, oh shit. fucking god! But there's more. He's gonna he's gonna wrap it up now, though, Joey, and he's gonna yeah. tie it into a personal story right now. So about now he's what? About... <laughs> <laughs> See, the chapter continues, and now what he's time I, what time I took shower, waterfall on my head, go pop 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 pop. So I said to myself, I go, why don't I just put on the bathtub? And then I sit in bathtub and wash armpits and my face and my bum, and I say so much water. See, but now, now that he's gotten, us, <laughs> now that he's gotten us with all this riveting amount of facts, these these riveting, uh, these little these little nuggets of information. Now that he's really sucked the reader in about mm. water conservation, now he's going to bring it home by telling us a little bit about how Ryback knows so much about water conservation. Ah, uh, yes. He's, well, he's actually... <laughs> Ryback is actually... He's hydrogen. Did you know that? He no. is the hydrogen. <laughs> this gets better. Okay. I remember when I read Arnold Schwarzenegger's autobiography, how impressed I was with the part on water conservation. <laughs> Oh, fucking Christ. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> Up to that point in my life, <laughs> I really hadn't given much thought, but his words really woke me up to how I use water. <laughs> right back, hashtag stay woke. <laughs> For example, I used to let the water run on full blast the entire time I was brushing my teeth. Oh, fuck. I wasn't doing this because I wanted to waste water. Truth be told, the water was always calming to me, and it was just a habit I started as a kid. After... <laughs> so fucking fuck! After, after realizing how wasteful that is, though, I began keeping the water off and only turning it on when I needed a bit of water. <laughs> <laughs> Same for when I shave my head, wash my hands, or wash my face. I always do my best now not to leave the water running. If you are a parent, teach your kids this 
so it becomes good second nature. Showering is another way to overuse precious water. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I love a good. No, sorry, go ahead. If you insist on making sex, don't do it in the shower. That wastes water. I am uh, right back. This is this is fucking abysmal. My, uh, my two favorite comments so far have been, "What the fuck, Rybex, thirty-five years old." Someone said he's 35, and the other one said, this motherfucker is Barney. Like, he is Barney. <laughs> Oi, kids, when you're going to brush your teeth, and just like... I I'm waiting for him to, to tell people to, to, uh, to sing happy birthday while they brush their teeth. <laughs> oh, okay. I love a good hot shower, but setting a time limit, or at least not staying in there, for however long we like, will definitely help. I do my best to be in and out in 10 minutes or less these days, and am shooting for five minutes as a personal goal. A personal goal. Yes. Another cool way... Another... <laughs> another cool way to save some water around the house or apartment is using these things called toilet banks. They are just water-filled bags that hang inside the toilet bowls out of sight. They allow the tank to fill up faster with less water so we don't flush extra water down the toilet. <laughs> Extra water down the toilet. The performance of the toilet isn't sacrificed. <laughs> <laughs> and I have noticed a savings. <laughs> it's just it's the performance of the toilet. Your poopies don't go down, go away forever. <laughs> Poopy don't come back. Open <laughs> <laughs> go down Dwayne never come back it's a move go good I love it <laughs> and I have noticed a savings of over thirty dollars from using these things throughout <laughs> my over thirty dollars like a like a month or just in general <laughs> You can take the dirty dollars and buy another <laughs> copy of this book <laughs> just to wipe your ass with. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. This, is, oh. this is great. <laughs> I'm almost done. Oh, uh, are you sure? Yes, from using these oh. things throughout my house. There are just a few things we can do to conserve water as well as save money, <laughs> along with many. Of the other sections of this book, the idea is to just be conscious of it. When you remain conscious about your surroundings, small changes become second nature very quickly. That is the end of Section 6, Personal Responsibility, Water Conservation. <laughs> Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, what a tale. God. What a whale of a tale. How much does this book cost? Uh, I got it for... I got less than the actual price. Uh, he's charging... Wow. I mean, jeez. eBay. <laughs> eBay. Uh, I don't know. I don't even see a price tag on this motherfucker. Usually books have like a hard embedded price tag, but this one does not. Oh, my God. Mish just reads a fuck. You know what makes it funny is that we we should just read a chapter of this book, <laughs> like one a week, just just one a week, uh -huh. and see how long it takes before Ryback sends us a cease and desist. <laughs> 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 I 
I think by like maybe uh, week four. What do you think? <laughs> On the fourth week of us just mercilessly mocking his book, just <laughs> come on, oh. homie. You wrote a book about you wrote a chapter in your book about oh. fucking bu- put a brick in your toilet and then it won't <laughs> save you money on water. It's like, dude, come on. If you go outside when raining and open your mouth, it's a free <laughs> drink of water. <laughs> dude, this, is, dude, this is what a fucking numb nuts this guy is. Do you know why he? Uh, okay, when what year did Arnold Schwarzenegger's autobiography come out with? I'm not. I'm, I assume he's not meaning the um his weightlifting book, not like his uh his Bible, like his book that was like the Bible on weightlifting, like his actual autobiography. Dude, I don't know, but the fact that fucking Arnold had a book about water conservation is kind of silly to me too. No, no, no. Arnold probably wrote that book after he was the mayor of California. Oh. So he said, oh, water conservation is important. That's why he fucking put it in there. He didn't put it in there for any other reason. God damn. But that makes sense with all the shit that was going on in California. Yeah, wow, Joe. Right. Arnold Schwarzenegger, not fucking Ryback. I know. <laughs> Like, you see all the people in California, they're like, Ryback is right. <laughs> I've seen savings of already $30. $30? I've seen $30 in savings. Oh, my God. I'm going to change my whole life around now. Thank God Thank God you read me that chapter. I feel good. Honest, honest to God, now I feel like a, this is like my catcher in the rye. I think I'm going to go kill Adam Levine from Maroon 5. <laughs> What a fucking nightmare. What an absolute nightmare. Everybody wants me to read the porn chapter. Maybe next week. Maybe next week we'll do the the, the chapter on porn, man. Oh, wow. I don't know if I could do another one because I'm damn near dead as it is. Holy shit. I think this this book is going to be the gift that keeps on giving. I told you, man, when I I saw that, when I first saw it, I'm like, no, that's not a real thing, is it? Like, I thought somebody sent me a a joke. They're like, no, no, you got to get this book. (laughs) And I'm like, fuck yeah. And so I, I put it on, the, on the, the, the wish list on eBay. And then somebody pinged me. And they're like, here it is. And I fucking bought it. Oh, and it I has hope you not... got next to nothing, dude. Dude, I can't wait to read the chapter about colors. You have no idea. <laughs> I am so excited for colors. I can literally l- read a color every week. <laughs> <laughs> color every week. Roy, Roy, Roy G. Biff time with Ryback. <laughs> This week's entrance, turquoise. Oh, my God. Oh, fuck. Roy G. Uh, how about Roy G. Biff with Ryback? It's reading time. Yes. Yes. Oh, it's, re- it's reading time. Oh, my God. All right, I think we officially won at this show. I, there's there's yeah. nothing left. There's not. We, there's nothing left that we could do that could beat this. Uh, oh, a little bit. Read, read me more. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna title the show that today. Read me more. <laughs> oh, my, may God have mercy on us all. Thank you, Captain Shitstain. You came through, buddy. Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah, I think we're done, dude. I can't even. I, I can't even function. Like I'm supposed to have an outro and everything, and I'm just. I, I laugh too hard. Holy <laughs> fuck! The reading rainbow, reading Ryback rainbow. Mm-hmm. That's a... Um, yeah, but I'll go ahead and attach Thursday show uh, with John Draper and Joey Numbers to this show, mm. and I'll go ahead and upload them both. It's like a double feature kind of thing, so. Feature, double feature. Yeah, man. Read me more. <laughs> All right, man. Well, All right, fuckers. We'll hit the road now. I'll see you on Thursday, bro. Yeah, man. I'll be back Thursday. And uh, everybody else can listen to me on. Uh, I'll be doing breakfast soup this week with uh, Don Tony. So I'll have a little bit of that. Oh. I got some and, more. Uh, and Nick just put up a new episode of Nothing for him. I'm on, too. So if you want to go check that out, check that out, too. All right. I'll have some more Patreon content up this week. 
Also, for the people that have been emailing me or uh, hitting me up on uh, Patreon and stuff like that about not getting their codes, check your emails. 